the adder is the only snake commonly found in Scotland. It is poisonous, but I never worry about finding one out on the Southern Upland Way. If you know how to deal with them, they're really no problem at all. So I'm always really pleased when I see one. I must stress that all of the footage in this video was taken using a telephoto lens. I was always at least three meters away from the snakes while I was taking it. If you want to get photo or video of an adder, if you see one, just make sure you stand well back and zoom in. Never get too close. Adder are quite small, normally only about a metre long and not much thicker than your thumb. They've got a very distinctive zigzag stripe down the middle of their back all the length of the snake and a V-shape on the back of their head. They come in all sorts of different colours from browns and yellows to quite bright greens and blues. You may even see a very rare melanistic adder which is completely black. The only thing you may see in Scotland which looks similar to an adder is a slow worm. These look like snakes, but they're actually a type of lizard, only without any legs. They're much smaller than an adder, they're brown, and they don't have the zigzag stripe down their back. They're not poisonous, but they may still bite, so if you see one, don't pick it up. Adders are cold-blooded. They need to sunbathe to warm themselves up to get the energy that they need to move around. They also hibernate through the winter, buried in holes in the ground. So at this time of year, towards the end of March, they come out of hibernation and they need to find themselves somewhere nice and warm to warm themselves up. So you'll often see them curled up in open areas of ground out in the sun. Unfortunately, this open area of ground can often be right in the middle of the path. So you need to keep your eyes where you're walking so you don't accidentally tread on them. Adder like to live in wild remote places. You'll often see them in woodlands or out on the hills. They love this heather moorland that so much of the southern upland way goes through. They eat small animals, small mammals, reptiles, and ground nesting birds. And this is why they're poisonous. It's for hunting the small animals and not for defending themselves from people or larger animals. Female adders actually incubate their eggs inside the body. So they give birth to live young. If you do see an adder on or near the path, don't panic. They're really not aggressive creatures. They'd always prefer to slither away into the undergrowth and stay in face you. Most of the time people do get bitten by them, it's either because they accidentally tread on the adder or because they actually pick it up or otherwise try and touch it. As long as you keep your distance from the snake, about three meters away is fine, and never ever pick it up or touch it, you really don't need to worry. If you are really unlucky and you do get bitten by an adder, try not to panic. Don't try to suck the venom out or tie a tourniquet or anything. It doesn't help. Just try to remain calm and get to the nearest hospital as soon as possible. It's still very unlikely to be fatal. There have only been nine people killed by adder bites in the whole of Britain in the last hundred years. 
and nobody at all since 1975. Dogs, unfortunately, are at far more risk from adders than people. This is partly because they're smaller, so the venom has more of an effect, but also because dogs tend to go and sniff at something that interests them. When they see an adder, they'll often go over and have a look to find out what it is. If you've got a dog with you when you're in adder habitat, just keep it under close control. Don't let it go around exploring and sniffing at things. And if you see an adder, get your dog onto a lead as soon as possible to keep it safe. When I took the uh, footage of adders for this video, we actually had five dogs with us when we saw the adder. We got all the dogs onto a lead straight away and they were all absolutely fine. So when you're out in adder habitat at this time of year particularly, keep an eye on the ground in front of you so you don't tread on one. If you're going to sit down anywhere, have a really good look around. Make sure there's nothing there before you sit down. And when you do see an adder, keep your distance, stay back and enjoy the sight of one of Scotland's most beautiful wild animals.